And it's not a bad evening tonight. It's kind of a mildish evening, and so welcome. Well, next Wednesday, I want to give you a heads up. Next Wednesday, we're actually going to be going Christmas caroling, okay? So we will not be actually right here. Now, the children and the teens will be uh, actually uh, here for their Christmas party, all right? But we will be, those who would like to join us, we encourage you to come with us. We're going to carpool, and we're going to go see our shut-ins, and we're going to be taking our Christmas gifts to them, all right? And we're going to be just singing a couple Christmas carols at each one of their houses. So we want to meet here at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock next Wednesday. So if you're able to come and be a part of that, we would greatly appreciate it. I like to have a great group of people. And so uh, if you're able to do that, we would, we would certainly appreciate it. We will carpool. Yeah, Carol. If you can't carry a tune, you come and you clap, you smile, or you do whatever, okay? Lip sync. Yeah, that's right, Dennis, lip sync, all right? That means just move your lips, but you don't have to, s nothing comes out. So it'll be fun. And, uh, we're, you know, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let them all know. We'll give them a call saying we're on our way and they'll be ready. You know, they can wave to us or whatever from the door or whatever the case is, okay? So, and, so that, that'll be nice. That'll be fun. Uh, so what we're going to do tonight uh, for the first, oh, maybe half an hour or so, uh, we're going to be doing uh, your favorite Christmas carols like we did last week. It worked out really well. But we have our full praise band here tonight, minus, I think, our guitar player, I thought he was coming. I was pretty sure he was coming. But anyway, uh, but we're, I'm glad they're able to be here. And we sound, it sounded great here a little bit ago, starting out with some of this Christmas carols. So go ahead and, and look through the hymnal. I forget what number they started on, like maybe 160-something or other. I don't know, something like that. Where is it? Oh, here, I have one right here. It, let me see here. Uh, uh, what is it? I thought it was like 160-ish, yeah. So like right around there, yeah, like 160, that's right. So right in that vicinity, and then j just kind of, you can finger through there and just see what's, there's a lot of Christmas carols. We have, we're really blessed to have so many in our hymnal. So go ahead and pick those out. But let's begin with prayer here tonight. And uh, we are so thankful that you're here tonight, especially in the midst of all of the continual upheaval in our culture and society. We're glad you're here tonight. And thank you for being here, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness to us. We thank you for this Advent season that we have come once again to worship you, King Jesus. Though you were born, you were born in a stable and laid in a manger. You were King of kings and you were Lord of lords. And we thank you that the King of all the universe came and humbled himself, became one of us, that we, that we who were sinful might become the righteousness of God through the death of our Savior, Jesus Christ. It is your birth tonight that we celebrate. And the songs we sing, may they be a joyful noise unto you, whether we can carry your tune or not, doesn't make a bit of difference. It's what's in our hearts and our spirits. And we thank you and we praise you. Bless your people tonight, and may we just be filled with joy as we sing and contemplate, once again, the birth of our Savior. Amen. 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 All right, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, what, why don't you tell me what number I'm going to call it up there so our AV team can uh, get the words up there as quickly as possible. Okay, first one. 175, okay, and that is O Come All Ye Faithful. What a great, great Christmas carol. You can sing this at any time, okay? So.
sounded great. Praise the Lord. Okay. 173. Joy to the world. Probably one of our favorite Christmas carols, right? So, Joy to the world. 173. Another one. 170. One We're going to keep moving backwards here, guys. Once in Royal David City. That might be up there, Brian. I hope it is. All right. tells the entire story of salvation, doesn't it? Yeah. It says that he came down to earth, and then he ministered, and he grew, and so forth. And then it says one of these days he will lead his children to the place where he has gone. So the thing about Christmas carols that are so wonderful, Joy to the World, when we went, let's go back to that for a second. When we sing Joy to the World, we're talking about the curse that was broken. When Jesus came, he broke the curse. The curse that was put on this planet, Adam and Eve in the garden, it always goes back to that. And God promised that he would send a Messiah, a Savior, 
And Jesus Christ was that Messiah. He was that Savior. And he broke the chains. He broke the curse. He set us free, right? So Just no sin. more let sin and sorrow reign. See, that's what it is. Don't let it grow anymore. That goes right back to the garden. Don't let that grow anymore. Right. Because the ground, the earth itself was cursed. But Jesus sets us free. The whole earth is groaning in anticipation of the coming, the second coming of our Savior. And the first one, of course, O come all ye faithful. We just need to sing the song the angels sang, O come, let Amen. us adore him. Amen? Amen. Yes. Taryn, you may choose one. 169, O little town of oh, Bethlehem. Oh, so we keep going backwards. All right, 169, O little town of Bethlehem. Now, I love this song because this really centers on the thought of that little yeah. town. And it was a little town. There was nothing special about nope. Bethlehem, was there? No. Nope. But the name Bethlehem means house of bread. House of bread. Beth is house, but Lem is, is bread. House of bread. And the bread of heaven came, came down, right? Right. And what more appropriate place to be born than in the house of bread? Amen? Mm -hmm. So this whole song is about that. And I love this because the fourth verse especially, O holy child of Bethlehem, descend on us, we pray. So it's not about just his first coming, it's literally about his second. Right now, right this very minute, holy child, descend on us. How does he do that? Through his Holy, holy Spirit. Spirit. Yep. Cast out our sin, enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord, Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means God with us. Amen. Amen. I love it. 195. You were going to say that one? Well, I love this because this particular Christmas carol was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. He was a, he was a famous American poet, and he wrote this song during the Civil War. And, and, and it tells, you have, to, you have to sing every verse here because every verse tells the entire story. 
And, and, and the nation, our, our nation was in turmoil and upheaval. Maybe this is why you picked this one, Jim, maybe. But, okay, because he, he looked out and he thought, you know, th there's not, th nothing good is happening. You know, we're, we're, we're at war with each other, brother killing brother, you know, and so forth, father killing son and so forth. And, you know, what, what hope do we have? Yeah, right. And so, so on that Christmas morning, in the midst of his despair, his hopelessness, he heard the bells of the church ringing. You know, back then all the churches had bells. And he heard those bells ringing. And, and, and then he said, and, and then all of a sudden it comes, you know, till ringing, singing, on its way, the earth revolves from night to day, a voice to chime, a chance to blind, a peace on earth, good will to men. In other words, it, it, the, the, the bells just kept pealing louder and louder and louder in the midst of your hope and despair. And do we need to hear that again today? Absolutely we need to hear it, right? So when you sing this song, think about that. And we are in a very, very similar situation today. So let's hear those bells pealing out. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. I'm sorry, Brian. I heard the bells on Christmas Day. I'm sorry, Brian. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Here are the bells. It, it makes all the difference, doesn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. Every every now and then, every now and then, I can catch you know uh, St. John the Baptist Cathedral out here on on Western Road. I can I every now and then I can catch their bells. You know, depending on the way the wind's blowing, as they say. But it is beautiful. It's so beautiful to hear those bells, and that's what this song is about: giving you hope in the midst of your despair. background there isn't it uh, those bells so beautiful such a powerful powerful hymn all right time for a couple more here okay uh 191 okay and then what did you say uh, okay 167 so 191 all right and if you've not had a chance to pick one find one okay so hark the herald we we're playing this earlier what a uh, this particular christmas carol is written by charles wesley brother of john wesley and the, the wonderful thing about this song is it, it really gets right down into really what happens to us in our salvation experience. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Do you need a healing touch tonight? Let's seek God. Let's seek God for that healing touch. Mild he lays his glory by. In other words, he laid the glory, the splendor of heaven. He laid it down, born that man no more may die. Born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. We are born once, 
but we're reborn, aren't we? Amen? Amen. What a powerful, powerful thing. And so you, you read, you know, veiled in flesh the Godhead see. In other words, God, Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, came in the flesh. He was God, but he came in the flesh, veiled himself, tabernacled among us. Amen? Yeah. Powerful, powerful Christmas. Christmas here. That's one of my favorite Christmas carols. And Brother Joel, you said one, 167, okay? The first Noel. What a beautiful, beautiful carol. This is really telling the entire story, okay, the entire story of Jesus Christ, the birth, the first Noel, the, the wise men looking up in the sky. They make their way to the Christ child. They fall and they worship him and they give them their Gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What a beautiful song. Noel, 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 born is the king of Israel.
is the king of all the earth. Amen? Amen. 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 Yes, Shard. No problem, buddy. The first Noel. I don't think I actually even said that. I'm sorry. 168, right across the page. It came upon a midnight clear. Again, the song the angel sang. And one day this earth is going to echo back the song the angel sang. that weary road. I don't know. Maybe you're, you're worn out and tired and you know the, the, the struggles of this life are getting you down. Just rest. Well, you know why? Because, yeah, yeah. So it, it just depends. You, you are just fine. You are just fine. We have, we have two sets of each one of these songs because the green book has different words and the hymnal has different words. But you just do what I'm doing. Because I won't ever lead you astray. Uh -huh. All right? For love, the days are hasting on my prophet heart's foretold. When with the ever circling years comes round the age of gold, then we shall over all the earth its ancient sway. I think we have time for maybe two more before we go to prayer tonight. Two more. What is it? 176. So Sister Amy decides to speak up tonight. Huh? Somebody jumped the gun. Ah, uh, 170. You know what? I just heard, I just heard uh, this uh, particular song, a new version of it. Have, has anybody ever heard the new version of this Away in a Manger by uh, uh, Phil Wickham? Have you heard that one? No. It re you, you should, you know, uh, search it on YouTube. I think you're going to like it. It's really, really, really nice. Uh, it's, it's, it's somewhat traditional, like, like that, but there's other parts of it that isn't. And, and the words, they, he did change a lot of the words, but they are very powerful words. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so I want, have you heard it? Have you heard the no, new one? No, I haven't yet. Okay. Yeah. You really, yeah, you should listen to it. It's really beautiful. Of course, Away in a Manger. And there's actually two versions of this in our hymnal, two different tunes, I should say. So... Uh, you want the traditional tune, Amy? Yes, please. All right.
Carol. 171, Silent Night. I was surprised nobody picked that one. They're probably, of, I think of all of them, I think everybody thinks that's like probably the most beautiful Christmas carol, and indeed it is. Uh, you, you know the story behind that, don't you? Uh, this Catholic priest, okay, they're in Germany, actually. Uh, uh, the pipe organ had gone kaput, okay? It didn't work, and they, and they couldn't get somebody to, to come and fix it before, uh, you know, b before Christmas. And he had written this Christmas carol. He had written this uh, and to be played on the pipe organ. You know, really be majestic, you know. So, yeah. And so but what actually happened, uh, he could play the guitar, okay? And so he actually led the congregation. The very first time this carol was ever sung, he led it by the guitar, just, just that. And it just turned out so beautifully. And it's, it's almost, it's almost really... Uh, you almost want to sing it just with a guitar because it is, it is that type of song. It is a lullaby, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lullaby, but it really, really talks to us. Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. How beautiful. Amen. <laughs> Let's go to prayer at this time. Tonight was just dedicated basically to just singing some songs, Christmas carols, helping us understand really the true meaning of the season. I, I, I meant to share this with you on Sunday, but I, I was listening to one of the secular, you know, stations because they're playing all the Christmas songs and everything, you know, and, 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 and I love it. I mean, I'm one of those, so I could listen to them all day long, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, but it was one, I think it was, not, I'll get 94.5, okay? And uh, the, this... Uh, 
I don't, I don't know the DJs. I don't know who they, who they are or anything like that. But he, yeah, I think it was actually they played uh, uh, Josh Groban's version of Oh Holy Night. Okay? And he said after this, he said, um, that's the real meaning of this season. Now, okay, really for a secular DJ to say that, I thought that's pretty powerful. Okay? And so, uh, I, so I just said, you know, Lord, just bless him for saying that. You know, over, over the airways, just bless him for saying that. Because you, you never know what's going to come down on you for saying stuff like that these days. You know, you don't know. But I was just so thankful that there are people like that who aren't afraid to say stuff like that at a secular DJ. Okay? So, and, of course, that is the real reason for this season. There would be no other reason. Uh, let, let me just say, you know, we, we, we really need to be praying about the uh, situation here uh, across our state. Uh, you know, they're talking, wanting to shut us down again. Uh, that is a, a huge, huge mistake. Uh, that is a huge mistake. Uh, this thing's got to run its course just like anything else does. It just has to run its course, period, bottom line. I am truly uh, fearful that if they do shut us down, the, the, the last few uh, small businesses are just, they're just not going to survive. They will not make it. They barely made it the first shutdown. They're not going to make a second. They're not. It's just not going to happen. Restaurants are already uh, struggling. Uh, you know, they're not going to make it. The big box, you know, they'll, they'll probably make it, but, you know, I think diminished capacity. So we really need to be praying about that. Uh, of course, they're really talking, obviously, about, you know, limiting gatherings again, family gatherings, family gatherings in your home, uh, as well as the church. So uh, let's really be praying against that. We also really need to be praying about, you know, the election outcome. And uh, let's really continue to lift that up to the Lord in prayer and the lawsuit that Texas has uh, put forth uh, to the Supreme Court. Uh, very, very positive step there, as well as other things coming down the pike. What we really need to be praying about is that all the deceit, deception, and upheaval, that which is hidden, will be brought to light, right? Uh, you may not realize this, but some of your votes were actually tabulated in foreign countries, in foreign countries, they tabulated American votes. Uh, that should be a sovereign right. That should not be anything that is sent out anywhere, anywhere in the world, except right here in our own nation. Uh, we, we understand there's all kinds of things at stake here. Uh, but we really, really want to be praying that God will continue to bless our people. Uh, there are a lot of people not feeling well, okay? This is flu season. This is cold season. This is stomach virus season. This is stuff season okay we're in it it happens every year uh i really believe i really believe that probably a lot of what happened last year through the church was was, was the cursor of, of the covid maybe they even we even had it because we had so many people that had the flu okay well th things come and go folks i mean i'm not trying to be hard about it but you know many people die from many things and the the, the death rate for this particular virus is very, very, very negligible compared to other viruses that we deal with. We just need to be honest and we need to say what the truth is. Now's not the time to cower to be hiding. Now's the time for the church to just stand up and speak the truth, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean that we don't need to be careful, take precautions, do what we need to do, you know? Do what your mom always told you to do. Wash your hands. <laughs> Cover your mouth. If you're sick, if you have a fever, stay home. If you're sick, stay home. Simple as that, you know? Uh, you know, you know I, let, let me just say, you know, more people die of the flu every year than, than have died with, with COVID-related illnesses. We, all, we also know that there are more people that die cancer, heart disease, and others throughout, throughout the, every year. So, you know, we, we just need, let's keep it, everything in perspective here. And uh, this is part of the agenda to continue to bring down our economy and our country, uh, the agenda to make this a Marxist communist country. And those who fled those countries do not want to see that happen. And I personally do not want to see that happen in my own America. So let's keep that before the Lord. There are those that are sick. Kathy Cunningham is sick. Uh, you know, respiratory illnesses, cold, whatever going around. So she wasn't feeling well. She stayed home. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're sick, stay home. Uh, you know, there are others that are struggling with, you know, other respiratory illnesses. Stomach bugs are going around. Uh, there are a lot of people that are not feeling well for that. Uh, and so forth. Um, uh, Jim, how are your, how are your arms? Uh, Jim actually spent Sunday night into Monday in the hospital. You may not have known that. Uh, he, he, Sunday, he, he was numb from his, from his, uh, was it elbows down or shoulders down? Uh, he, and, and down he was numb. They think more than likely it's a pinched nerve. And 
and elbows and wrists and elbows and wrists. So, uh, are, have you gotten any relief at all yet? Some. Some. Okay, they're still numb. So we we need to anoint you and pray over you again tonight. We want to do this. Uh, someone, I Kathy said, someone sit in for for her tonight to be anointed. Uh, my mom's not feeling well. Keep her in your prayers as well. Uh, Jude. Yes, I was saying. Yeah, give us an. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Joe Sawinski. He does not have COVID, just so everybody understands. He does not have COVID. He does have pneumonia, but not COVID. Yeah, so Joe and Betty, and then let's uh, Frank and Meredith as well. Uh, Meredith got Frank up in a wheelchair yesterday. It's a very he did it. I think he did it Sunday, and then he really, really paid for it. You know, uh, through Sunday into Monday. Uh, so re, you know, it's a long, long recovery. I pray for strength for for him and her, uh, taking care of him like twenty four seven. So uh, there, there's a lot going on with our people. Okay, uh, but uh, I played this this morning at prayer time. <laughs> And I'm going to ask you just, it, it, those who need to be anointed and those who we've asked to be anointed for people, come forward. And if you, for any other reason, certainly feel free to do that. But I, I played this this morning, and it, it's just a beautiful song. Just surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Intercessors come forward at this time. We thank you, Lord. We agree together with these that are coming. It doesn't take very many. It can be just two or three. And I feel that same sweet spirit that I felt of times before. Surely I can say that I've been with the Lord. Surely the presence. Thank you. 
the holy hush around us as God's glory fills this place. I touch the hem, touch the hem of his garment tonight, of his garment. Reach out and touch it. I can almost see his face and my heart is overflowing with the fullness of his joy. I know without a doubt that I've been with the Lord. Do you know you've been with the Lord tonight? speak your name, Lord. We know it doesn't take very many, just two or three, and there's more than that here tonight. Thank you, Lord. I just pray a blessing upon all these that are being anointed and prayed for here tonight. Taryn, would you just offer up a prayer for us tonight? Would you pray for us tonight? Dear Lord, we come to you, Lord, just praising you, Lord, yes. for what you've done for us, Lord. All what you've given us, Lord, how you've protected us all yes. throughout this time, Lord. And how you reach out your hands each and every day yes, to heal those in our congregation and to heal those who need it, Lord. And we ask again, Lord, to come and heal those who are in need of your touch, Lord. Just help them, Lord. And those who are hurting, Lord, just, yes, Lord. not just physically, but spiritually and mentally, Lord. You know, this is all such a trying time for people. And just give us our strength and our joy, Lord. And Lord, I ask you to be with our, our country. Yes, Lord, please. And with our state as they go to yes, decide Lord. if they want to Jesus. close down shops again and close. Jesus. Give them, be with them as they make these decisions, yes, Lord. Put your hand on these Amen. gentlemen in charge, Lord, and let them make the right decisions. Let heal our country. Our country heal our has country. so yes, much Lord. lying and deceit. Yes, and, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we we just really need, Lord, your, your touch, Lord. We need your, your guidance, Lord, and your patience, Lord. And, Lord, also on my heart today, Lord, are our children, God. Yes, Jesus. In all these trying times, they are so confused on what's going on. And our school systems are really not giving them good answers sometimes no, in certain situations. They're misleading them, Lord. They need to find you, Lord. They need to have you in their lives, Lord. Go and open, come open.
find those families, Lord, that don't know you, Lord, and let those children see your glory during yes, this Lord. time period, Lord, this holiday. Let them understand the reason for this holiday, Lord. Amen. And also, Lord, just be with all of us here in this room, Lord. Touch us, Lord, both physically and spiritually, Lord. Let your glory just shine through us and on us, Lord. We're so blessed, Lord, in all that you do for us, Lord. In your precious name, amen. Amen, Jesus. Oh, I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, we have time for one final Christmas carol while we're taking up our offering. So... Uh, let's see, Brother Joel, would you get our offering plate for us, please, in the pulpit? I forgot to bring one down, thank you. And as we're doing that, let's sing one final Christmas carol. And what might it be? We Three Kings, okay? <clears throat> now, the, the, the thing about We Three Kings, and we will sing it, is this is actually a post-Christmas carol. That's all right. Uh, this is a, an epiphany carol. And it's actually, the epiphany is actually the remembrance or the celebration of the visit of the three wise men to the Christ child. And it tells the story about all their gifts and what the gifts represent. So, we three kings, so... Uh, 202. <laughs> what is it? It's 202. 202. 202, thank you. And so we're going to sing, and we'll sing, there's five verses because it talks about born again, then frankincense, gold, and myrrh. And you're going to see what each and every one of those things represents, okay? <laughs> to God in prayer, so this we're offering up to God, the deity, our God, and that is our prayers as this frankincense ascended, it offered up that prayer. <laughs> Anticipation of his death and the sacrifice that he made for us, okay? Myrrh is mine, it's bitter perfume. Breeze of life of gathering gloom. Sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in a stone. Oh, Jesus sealed in that tomb, but...
It's for King, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Glorious now. Don't you love it? It's a great, great song. And so it explains what all those gifts represented, you see. It's a beautiful song. Father, I thank you and I praise you and I glorify you tonight. Jesus, Son of God, loves pure light. Holy Spirit of God, descend on us tonight again. And I pray a blessing upon your people. Keep us safe, well, well, Lord. Well, healthy, thank you, Lord, and meet our every need in this season. And may we only have eyes on you, Jesus, eyes on you, no one or no thing else. In your name we pray, amen. God bless you. Love you guys.